Law enforcement agencies across the country are on high alert tonight for domestic terror threats. A suspect was arrested in Chicago over the weekend for allegedly threatening an attack on an abortion clinic. Now, this follows arrests in unrelated cases in Connecticut, Florida, and Ohio. Meg Oliver has more on what these suspects were allegedly planning. With a smirk, 20-year-old James Reardon listened via video conference as his attorney entered his plea. They are not guilty police of both counts. Police arrested the self-described white nationalist Friday after uncovering a threatening social media post showing him shooting a semi-automatic rifle and targeting Jews. Reardon was interviewed for a documentary during the deadly protests in Charlottesville, Virginia in 2017. I want a homeland for white people, and I think every race should have a homeland for their own race. In addition to Reardon, authorities have arrested six other men, each accused in separate cases of threatening to attempt a mass shooting over the last two weeks. 25-year-old Tristan Wicks was arrested in Florida last Friday. Authorities there say he sent chilling text messages to his ex-girlfriend saying, a good 100 kills would be nice. I already have a location. The arrests since the El Paso Walmart shooting indicate local and federal authorities are on the lookout for any domestic charges. It's very complicated to monitor these threats. Not George Salim tracks extremism for the Anti-Defamation League. They have seen a spike in the number of online threats. Is this a time for the public to step up? This is an all hands on deck. Citizens, law enforcement, state, local, and federal authorities, everyone needs to be more vigilant about the nature and scope of violent content and threats that they're seeing in online forums.